Hey everybody, Michael Crump here. Today I'm going to show you how to solve a very common problem with your date and your time on Linux, more specifically with Kali Linux. So you may have a computer that's having some issues updating and staying with the current time. Let's go ahead and let's look and see how we can actually fix that. This is a very standard message. It says it did not connect, potential security issue, Firefox in this issue detected issue and did not continue to gmail.com. Your computer clock is set to 12 3 2020. You may jump over here into your terminal and there is a date command and we'll just do a control R here and do a reverse since I have set this uh, before and so here's the current command now you can come in here and I could go in and I could fill out you know what's the current date today it's 13 00 and we can go ahead and drop in our password here our pseudo password what we have here we actually have the current date that's set so I can just go date here and we can see now it's at the current date and we could actually swing up here and we could do a refresh on that same sort of site and this is just cybershelf which is what we use all the time on the stream and now since cybershelf is up and running uh, we can move forward and proceed to go ahead and start doing uh, some of our work all of our websites are back up again they work great this is excellent but there is an easier way so switching back to the terminal now what we can do is is that we can take advantage of something called NTP or the network time protocol when we do this we won't have to come in here and manually update this anymore as long as there is an internet connection. So let's do it. So let's go ahead and install a couple of components that we're going to need. We'll go sudo apt install ntp. Okay, great. Okay, now that we have ntp installed, what we're going to do is we're going to configure it. So go ahead and type in this for me. sudo nano etsy ntp.conf we're looking for server here and you can see it's actually located right here so we're going to go server and there's several that we could use here obviously there is one that is located down here at the bottom that is pool.ntp.org but i'm actually going to use google's and it is just time.google.com again feel free to use whatever you would like exit out of this we're going to save the buffer and we're going to hit return there let's go ahead now and let's restart the ntp service okay that should take care of that for us and now let's go ahead and let's see what is the status of our ntp service we have the network time service it's enabled it's loaded and it is active this is the process id that is uh, running here we've got two task memory and there is a little bit of information there about the c group and let's take a look again at our date command okay looking at my clock here that is exactly what time it is and you can update the hardware clock as well let's look and see how we would do that okay and now our clock has been updated okay i believe that should do it thank you very much for watching